That's really cute. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to take a screenshot. Come to my garden. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. There are some really big choices that you have to make about the world of the play. You have to figure out what you're going to do about the ghosts slash dreamers, which I think is a super awkward term. Um, you have to figure out about travel. She goes from India to Yorkshire in 13 lines of music. Mm -hmm. It's like, well... <laughs> Let me speed through those six months. Um, and the cholera in the beginning, like you're supposed to somehow know that everybody in Mary's house, her parents, all the guests at the party, all of the servants, everybody has died of cholera. And the way that it's written in the italics is they're playing this game with a red handkerchief and that somehow you're just supposed to know by the end that everybody's dead. And I... I thought what was written in the book was really interesting. I mean, to begin with, in the book, she was utterly neglected, not just by her parents, but by the servants. She was also awful to the servants, so they didn't want to be around her. So the reason she didn't get cholera was because she was alone. She wasn't at a party and just magically survived. She was in isolation. And then as things started to go bad, she was hungry and thirsty and nobody brought her food so she started wandering through the house and she found this table that had been set for dinner um and she it didn't pick up a glass of water she picked up a glass of wine and drank mm -hmm. the wine which knocked her out so mm -hmm. she wasn't drinking the same water as everybody else and then she like passed out because she was 10 and she got drunk and because nobody was watching her like all of those things made so much more sense than oh she's at a party and everybody died that night and she didn't I love that. So, that that scene was or that was in the book yeah I saw a scene, I saw that scene in one of the one of the film versions mm -hmm. and I was like oh my god that makes so much more sense she actually drinks she picks up some wine she drinks it and then she passes yeah. out I was like oh that's why wasn't that in the <laughs> in the musical well, I mean and that's some the thing you that's really the do, choice but... That's the choice you have to make. You're yeah. going to have to find a way to depict the horror because the play doesn't begin in this ghost world. The mm -hmm. play begins with everybody dying and then her being found by these British uh, army guys. And uh, so you're going to have to somehow communicate that chaos. And then you're going to have to communicate that she's traveling. And then later you're going to have to communicate that Archie's traveling. So there's... You're going to have to come up with these, you know, rules that everybody agrees on. You present the audience with these rules at the beginning and they're good to go for the rest of the show, but you're going to have to make choices about them. We're going to read up on a lot of plays and talk about them in many ways. So welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Come magical spell, come help him get well. That is the correct answer. Next question. Ben reveals the truth. <laughs> you guys about are never death. gonna do a musical again. Like, god damn it. Jennifer <laughs> wouldn't stop singing the whole freaking time. 